quick update while I'm feeding them. I might start off this end. Just got the blue muskers in here. Not much has changed in there. So just give them a little bit. Feed them twice a day. In here, they're the first batch of the red mosaic Dumbo ears. I mean, if you can see, there's about 15 or so. I'm not really sure. They're going good. Won't feed them. They've still got a bit of food. In here, that's where I put the parents. And you can see, if you see up the top here, they've had another drop. So there's another 15 or 20 in there as well. So that's pretty good. So pretty happy with them. They're doing good. And they've had two, maybe three drops. I'm thinking there's maybe two drops in there because there's some smaller ones. All right. I'll give these ones a big feed. Cause Down here, just got the big catfish and about 15 or 20 of the third drop again. But got lots of um, sunsets in there as well. But yeah, they're just doing the same. You can see I sold some of the moss off. There's not much le moss left. The hornwort seems to be killing it off. So I'm just leaving the retailer and the hornwort in there. And I can see the bigger catfish. There's quite quite a few big ones in there now. There's like two of the others. I think I've got about four big males in there now. So mm. they're doing good. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. It's quite, you know, I sold some moss off and then the rest died off. So the hornwood seems to outcompete the moss for some reason. All right. Up here, just got about 30 various sizes ones. We had a bit of an issue with our water for three weeks. The water plant, something broke in a, th in a thunderstorm a while back. So some of these ones in here weren't too well. So I put them all in here as a hospital tank and brought them all um, back good. That's why there's various sizes in here. In the other, in this tank here with the platies, I finally caught the Cabenza out of there. So she stopped eating the, uh, just a little bit of food. And you can see here now, look at how quickly they've recovered. Look how many, there's like 40 babies in there because I, once I took her out, she's not eating any more of them and they're coming back. So overall, I'm rebuilding a lot of my numbers in here because I sold a lot of fish. <laughs> Now down here we still got, you can see one shrimpy in there. There's only not as many big ones, but there's heaps of little ones. Mm. So, and I've just got four catfish left in there that I kept that I didn't sell. There's heaps in there, but I'm still learning with the shrimp. Because when I took a lot of moss out of there and put it in here, I did see some shrimp in this tank as well over here there is a so I don't know whether they're going to survive with the things but I'm still learning but there's a lot in there this one here I'll give them a little bit of food too you can see from the last batch of catfish I caught 15 out and I put them in here there's probably maybe some down on that little bit there but um, they're growing quite good so that's good. But that tank, yes, as you can see, I'm getting lower. I've only got, I don't know, maybe eight or ten sellable size ones there because people want mature ones to buy. But I'm just building up numbers again. In here, they, oh, look, I don't see them often. See that catfish there? That's mm. a peppermint cat. There's two in there. I'm hoping one turn... I think they're both females, but anyway, there's a lot of um, males in here. There's three or four little babies in there, but once again, the sunsets prey prey on the uh, babies a bit. But these are just ones I'm selling if I can, because I've in here, as you can notice, really low in numbers. Sold a hundred in the last six weeks so not many 
sellable size ones now. So I'm rebuilding some of my stocks in here. Just give them a little bit. But in here, you won't be able to see now, but I have five or six catfish in there. And I didn't think they're doing anything. And then a week or two weeks ago, I've seen baby catfish in here. And some of the babies have got through into here as well. And two of the babies in here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, they're probably hiding, but they, um, two of them are not pure albinos, but they're three quarter albino with a little bit of brown in them. So I don't know where that came from. I'm thinking maybe one of these came from an albino parent or something, because I wasn't expecting that. But I've seen five in there and I've seen six in here, so I'll just have to wait. And I'm pretty... Oops. <laughs> Pretty happy about that that they grew up here. These ones here. So I'm really building my numbers up again because I haven't got that many sellable size. So I might have to take the ad down for a while and build up. But you can still see there's heaps of babies in. Down here I caught the crebenza. That's where I was keeping the crebenza. I caught her out of here and put her in this tank here. She's just living in there at the moment with, there she is in the corner there, you see her? Mm. She's just, she's about four years old, maybe five years old. And she's got two catfish in there. She's not that happy in there, but she can't eat no more babies. So that's, mm. In here I've got about 20, 20 or so other um, guppies that I caught out because this tank, did have an ammonia issue because I was unable to do a water change for three weeks. We we're having to boil our water for three weeks. So I put them in here and these were the ones who were starting to suffer a bit and I put them in there. But as you can see, there's babies in there as well now. So I'll just let them grow up. I'm not sure how many there was because each day I was taking three or four that looked like they were struggling and put them in there. So overall, I'm just rebuilding my numbers up because I sold a hundred of them in six weeks and yeah, a few catfish and stuff, but pretty good that I've got 30 or more than 30 of the Dumbo now. So another month or so, I'll start separating the males from the females, make the males grow quicker. There you go. These are the sword plants we caught out. You can see this big one in the centre here is taking over the others in there and you can see these lighter coloured uh, leaves. They're starting to establish themselves in there. And one thing I forgot, in this one here, you can see I was waiting for those two big swords. This one's got a shoot out here and another shoot at the back. And then this one's got a shoot coming up here and another shoot there. So they've both got two shoots starting to grow new plants. So that's good. But I don't, as you can see in there, now look how many platies are in there. There's heaps. There's like 50, 40, 50 babies plus that. The adults I had left that I didn't sell. So that's going good. I should have caught the Cabrenza out sooner. But anyway, there you go. So... I'm going to be swamped with sword plants. But anyway, there you go guys. Thanks very much. Quick update. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave some comments. Subscribe if you'd like to. And yeah, excuse the screwdriver. I just ran out of force. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just had, you know, actually I was quite, the, the, the uh, shrimp love the zucchini as well. But it's hard to know, but next time I'm going to try building a shrimp trap and try catching the shrimp that way because I think I lost, well I moved a few around when, um, but I'm still learning the shrimp. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye. Cheers. Thank you. Mostly males in there. A few younger ones, you can see the baby one down the bottom. There's about five or six baby ones in there, but these ones eat, eat. But yeah, it's good seeing the peppermint cat there because I haven't seen her for a while.
there you go, you can see another catfish up the top there and they're growing good. So another one there. It's about 15 I'll put in there. Just to spread them around a bit. There's another one there. Another one there. Another one on the rock. Another one on the filter. So there's quite a few in there. They're growing alright. Okay.